DXB. It's in the game. Hey guys, it's me Ben back with another one of my quick video reviews and choo choo. We are looking at Railway Empire here on the Xbox One and while when I was growing up, my little brother was the one that was really into trains. Um, I wasn't the massive kind of train person, I wasn't hugely into that, but I can absolutely 100% see the appeal. Uh, I remember playing and enjoying Railroad Tycoon and Sid Meier's Railroad and that sort of games on the PC. And what we have here with uh, Railway Empire is more of that. But it's also kind of cool because the main campaign of this is this sort of historically set and nicely narrated with nice animation cutscenes as you're seeing here, um, sort of history of the railway and how it was established across the United States and how hugely important it was in the economies and the growth of many of the US's biggest cities. Uh, so far it hasn't really touched upon the awful sort of working conditions of a lot of the people that was laying the tracks uh, and I suspect it probably won't because the game is kind of this top down, it's empire is in the title after all and you're playing basically as these huge uh, industrialists who are forging the path of industry and innovation across the nation, teaming the west. I don't bloody know, I'm not American, uh, but I'm sure it's something along those lines. And in doing so, you're doing, you're doing that by, you know, building railroads and the infrastructure and the industry and the things like that that are required, the logistics. Uh, and it's a management game. It's a sim game. So, you know, you're not just putting down little stations and connecting it with track and letting your trains go round and round. I mean, you can do that. There is a free play mode. Uh, and sort of sandbox mode as well. Um, but I was really enjoying the scenarios and the campaign because of the historical framing devices. I felt like I was learning things about the American kind of history elements of those 1800s, 1900s industry development that I really wasn't aware of uh, at the time of playing. And I was, I was really picking up on that, really enjoying that uh, to the point where I might look into it a little bit more because it does feel like the, the developers here from Calypso and uh, they, they have really shown a love and a care for the sort of historical authenticity of the presentation and of the sort of industry that is available. And the campaign jumps around a little bit within different time periods. Um, so because of that, it's quite interesting because you get, you start off uh, with moderately developed tech and then you go back to like a sort of prequel of that mission so you can find out how you got to where you are. Uh, and I was really enjoying that. So beyond just putting stations down and laying track, you're also balancing the needs uh, and the sort of wants of the different cities, you're gathering resources, you know, you're doing that whole kind of chain of commerce and development that you get in these types of games. And as you get further into the campaign, these elements get more and more complex. You're dealing with, dealing with other competing industrialists, so it's not just you in the plains doing your own thing. Um, so, you know, there are many elements that come into play in Railway Empire. And the more you play it, the deeper you get. And obviously, a game of this nature has that one problem that they always do on consoles, which is controls. Now, I actually thought the game handled quite well. Uh, I didn't think the tutorialization was maybe the best for actually explaining how, uh, you know, the radial menus worked and how, uh, when and where to plop things down. And, do you know what's really confusing is signals. However, there is like a whole tips and tricks menu within the game, so you can really dig into that. It's basically a manual that's then put into the game, which is quite nice, and you can really get uh, a lot from that. Uh, one thing that wasn't explained, I could find nowhere about it at all, and I only basically worked it out by just pushing all the buttons on the controller, was how to speed up time. Uh, and that, for people that want to know, is the, uh, I believe what is called the used to be the back button or the select button on the controller. It's the one with the little boxes on the Xbox, if that helps. And that speeds up time, which is quite helpful when you just need to make bank to do your next big um, push you know, of track or putting out industry or building a new warehouse or upgrading your latest train. So yeah, I'm talking about upgrading. There's a whole research sub-menu. There's everything you kind of expect from this type of game. It's got a nice presentation. It's full 3D. It's got, I think, quite sharp graphics. I believe it's X and Hearts. I've been reviewing it on the X and the One S, and it, and it looks nice and runs well without any problems on both of those. I think, yeah, so basically if you ask yourself, are you interested in the history of Railroad in the US? If you are, you're going to really enjoy the campaign. If you're not, 
you'll probably have more fun in the sandbox free to play, free play modes where you can just let loose and just do what you want in different time periods and so you know that will dictate the kind of tech you have and the starting point of the game and you can just play for hours and hours and hours and hours developing intricate railroad systems you know living that fantasy that i know some people have in the basement or in their loft or possibly just taking over their entire house with, you know, toy truck, toy trains. And that's that's huge. It's cool that there's a game like this on the console, even if, yeah, much like every management game, much like every sim game, you know, that playing these games on a controller is a bit of a challenge. Um, but I think for the most part, Calypso here do it very well. And I've definitely enjoyed my time with Railway Empire. And I think if you're in the mood for a sim-heavy management game right now that's maybe not sci-fi, because there's quite a few of them are available on console now, maybe historical, you're going to enjoy this. You're going to have fun. So because of that, I am going to give Railway Empire 3 out of 5 stars. BXB. It's in the game.